All right, good to start? Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna to teach you how to do this. Oh uh, yeah, some of you are sounding real scared, but here's the thing. Uh, that did not mean to sound like a threat. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, it's actually a lot easier than you think it is, holding two mallets in one hand. Um, for one thing, there are so many different ways to do it. Like, I think Dwight and Susanna both, you know, have a different technique than what I'm doing here. And, you know, it works really well for them. Uh, the technique that I'm teaching you is the best for teaching young musicians who may not be the most experienced in holding more than two mallets. And I'm going to explain to you why it's simple and why it's great to teach. It's because everybody takes their dominant hand, put the mouse down for a second, and do the live long and prosper. Take a look at that. Essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be splitting the hand in half, not literally obviously, but you're going to be using your smaller two fingers to hold one mallet and your other three fingers to hold the other one. So let's try that right now. Take one mallet and I want you to hold the mallet end, make the Spock symbol, and you're going to place it in between the fingers and you're going to hold on to this mallet with your little fingers, your ring and your pinky finger. And just get used to how this feels gonna feel a little strange at first, that's normal. Now what you wanna make sure is that when you're holding onto this mallet, that there's a little bit of stick jutting out of the hand, about the length of two thumbnails. You don't wanna push it in too far because that's gonna fall out and feel really uncomfortable and you don't wanna pull it out too far because you're not gonna get much distance that way. So make sure that it's at a good distance. Okay, everybody try that again, take it out. Spock, in the middle. Two fingers, make sure it's a good distance. Right, everyone looks good. Any questions so far? No, fantastic, all right. So let's take this one. We've got the other mallet and you're gonna open your other three fingers and you're gonna place the butt end of the mallet into the meat of your palm and you're gonna close your fingers around it with your thumb on top. Okay, once again, back the mallet into the meat of your palm and close your fingers around it. Make sure your thumb is on top. Any questions so far? Now for the fun part. We're gonna try extending the mallet a bit. I want you to extend your forefinger while keeping the thumb on top. You'll notice that you're extending the interval, right? This is how we do it. So just make sure, oh, ooh, ah. Just make sure that you keep your thumb on top so you maintain control of the mallets, right? But that's essentially how that works. So, let's review real quick. Take the mallets out. Spock. In between the fingers, two fingers go over. Make sure it's a good distance. All right, take the other mallet. Meat of the palm, thumb on top. Extend it a bit. All right. Now find yourself a hard surface. And we're just gonna play a little bit. This is an interesting situation because playing two notes at once or a double stop is actually easier because all you're gonna do is is rotate your wrist upward and then down. So play with me. Yeah, but it looks good. Oh, groove with me, baby. All right. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, stop. Now we're gonna do some single strokes. And in this case, you're not gonna move your wrist down. You're going to rotate your wrist. So very quickly, flick it in one direction. And make sure that the mallet that isn't being used is moving as little as possible. Look at mine, it's barely moving. You're just rotating. Any questions? Okay, switch mallets, other way. You can all play marimba now. See, that's, that's, that's slightly facetious, but honestly, that's basically all of our techniques. Everything I just showed you the way you change the direction of the mallets, the interval, and the way you move. Every technique we have is just a combination of double stops or single strokes in some fashion. And this is fantastic because in case you're teaching a young percussionist and they have to hold more than one mallet in their hand and they don't know what they're doing, now you know. <laughs>